I was going. I was gonna wait until the Royal Rumble, but I just can't do it anymore. I just I can't do this. I'm done. I quit. Um. It's no secret uh, that I've not really agreed with WWE. I'll, I'll try to explain it the best I can because I don't think people like understand where I come from. I'm just shooting from the heart. I really don't give a fuck. I loved wrestling. Wrestling was like the one thing that I could go to just to see. Like, I've, I've been watching it since I was three and seeing where it's fucking going. It fucking kills me. And I just. When you get older, you, you develop this new mind for the business you get more intelligent and sometimes that could be to your own detriment when punk quit it just hurt you know they hear all that maybe some of it's true maybe some of it's not but it's like just to hear that he got hurt the way he did um you know and just is treated and it just really kind of twisted my stomach into knots and then um you know, fast forward so many years later to Raw 25, and oh my god, I tried to enjoy it. I, I had like moderately, it'll be okay expectations, and, and I just got left even more disappointed just by having a little bit of an expectation. And the reason I want to be done is just because I'm so, I'm tired of complaining about it. I want to talk about like companies like New Japan and I feel like if I do I get ridiculed if I just talk about New Japan. It's not what people want to hear. You know, I, I feel I feel enslaved to this. I feel enslaved to this. I like wrestling. I just don't like WWE, but it's like the, the main thing anyone ever talks about. And I just, I can't stand it anymore because it's not the same WWE I grew up with. It's changed and not for the better. It's probably for the worst. And it, and it just kills me, you know? Like, I, I, I stopped watching the show for so long. And I tried to hold on with this podcast, I think, to the little childhood I had left. And and part of me feels like I'm just the problem. I mean, I feel like I'm not listened. And other fans aren't listened. And, like, everyone goes through this shit. Every wrestling fan does. We had fans ripped off at the Manhattan Center. That, that fucking, that's what did it for me. And at this point, it's just, it's probably unhealthy. Like when a wrestling company just makes you question your worth as, as a human being, I think that's a sign to just get the fuck out.
and I genuinely want to be happier and more bearable towards people and I feel like I'm not with like that when I talk about WWE and that's what makes me question my worth as a human being when talking about it.